Okay, fall 2020 trig final. I went through and I looked at the questions and I made some notes. And I want to share those notes with you. I want you to know what to expect. The review for the final homework assignment has 52 questions, but the final only has 33. So I want you to do that review. It's really good and it's very thorough, but I want you to also have some stress relief in knowing that these are the topics you need to know about. You're going to be asked about quadrants. You're going to have to do some conversions from radians to degrees, from degrees to radians. If you know the sine and the cosine, you're going to have to find the cosecant. Remember that this is y over r and this is x over r and go from there. Number five is like number eight on the study guide. Number six is like number nine but with fractions. Also like number 14, seven falls into the same category, but it has some square roots. So be careful when you're plugging those in that you handle those square roots and fractions properly. You're going to need to determine the period given in equations, kind of like number 16. You're going to have to determine amplitude. Another determined period question, determine the phase shift. You're going to have to find the exact value of inverse functions, like number 21 on the study guide. Another inverse question. Solve a triangle, like number 24. There's two of those. A bearing problem, so you'll need to um, know about your bearings from chapter 4. Exact value, difference formula, like number 31. 18 is similar to 33. 19 is similar to 31. And 20 is similar to 36. 21 is an exact value using the difference formula. 22 is exact value similar to number 31. 23 says find the exact value using the sum, and I'll go ahead and tell you that's going to deal with the tangent, so be, a, be sure you have those um, notes and study guide handy. You can have your notes. I'm going to have to video this test. You're going to have to do it on Zoom so I can make sure you're not using anything other than your notes, um, that you're not getting help from another person, but we're going to try to make this as, as smooth as we can for you guys. Exact value question, another exact value question, tangent of alpha plus beta, given the sine and the cosine, watch your square roots. Sine of four, uh, sine to the fourth power, um, you're going to need to be able to reduce um, powers. Be able to use the half angle formula. There's a question like number 40, another question like number 40. There are four verify the identity questions similar to 27, 28, and 29 in the study guide. This version of the final is a lot easier than the paper and pencil version. So I hope that you guys do great. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. There's also some study guide um, videos on YouTube and my YouTube channel if you want to look there. Thank you.